5S is a Japanese methodology, roughly translate to sort, set in order, standardise, sustain and shine. The inspiration for this design came from uh, the clients and their interest in, in minimalism and exploring ways to, to live with less and be very ingrained in their locale and in the local amenity. This is a 24 square metre space. Originally the kitchen is where the sleeping nook is now. So the kitchen was moved out of that space. So what we did is we split the kitchen into two wings. Uh, a wet kitchen, which has the sink, the hot water unit and some storage underneath. Uh, and an area to dry things over the top of the kitchen. As you wash up, you can just store things directly in the cupboard. And then you can just rely on them drying and dripping down into the sink. And then the, the dry kitchen is an area for primarily for cooking and for preparation. The bench for the dry kitchen is very much like a workbench. And it has a sort of floating quality to, to give the space a lightness. It also has a, um, a table that can be neatly stored away as part of the kitchen and then brought out when, when it comes time to dining. The bathroom was adapted from the original bathroom. What we did is actually maintain uh, what was nice about the original bathroom and then put an additional contemporary layer over the top for the bathroom. In the sleeping nook, we use the overhead space above where you would sleep for the storage of clothes. It's always a good idea in small spaces to be able to use the space that is otherwise left void. To best separate the sleeping nook from the living area, we decided to employ a folding perforated metal screen. And the idea is that that gives us uh, some level of privacy between the two zones. It also enables the permeation of light and breeze. And we could have the one TV that serviced both areas. One of the things that we did in the beginning is make a catalogue of all of the items that the owners had intended to put into the place. That was right down to the appliance they would use in a kitchen but they didn't want seen and then applied the Japanese 5S methodology to the storage requirements of the apartment. The clients could sort of sort and sustain their belongings and consider the things that they lived amongst. We've decided to keep the palette very neutral in that it's a kind of blank canvas for the occupants and for the minimal possessions that they have but also because it wouldn't detract from the wonderful view that the apartment benefits from. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo to receive updates on our latest episodes.